today I'm gonna be testing out Amazon swimsuits. Nowadays it is normalized for a bathing suit to be like a hundred to two hundred dollars, which is just crazy in my opinion. So I thought Amazon would be a really cool place to test out swimming suits. This video was inspired by Sadie Aldi, so check out her video in the description box. So I got all these bikinis in a small. This set is from Zapple. So the top and bottom honestly ran pretty small. With the top, you either had some cleavage or under boob, which just isn't fun, but it wasn't too bad. But the bottoms were so freaking cheeky. Like I would not wear these to a family outing, but I just want to highlight on how cute these are. Like the idea, I feel like this pattern has been super in lately and I've honestly been all for it. I think it's so cute. So I probably could wear this somewhere and it would look really cute. It's just not super comfortable because the bottoms are like super small. So I would rate this set like a six out of 10 just because it's so cute, even though it's not super practical. The next swimsuit I got is a pretty fun one. One, it's like a snakeskin bandeau set. I'm honestly not really into the snakeskin trend, but I wanted to get something more fun because one, I've never owned like a bandeau swimming top and also, um, most of my bathing suits are like solid colors, so I feel like a fun pattern would spice things up. I don't usually gravitate towards bandeau tops because I just like a very secure top and to not worry about it falling off. This bandeau top was so hard to put on at first. Like I literally thought it was gonna snap, but I guess it's good that it's tight so that if you're like jumping at the beach, your bandeau is just not gonna fall. But also the tightness made it really unflattering near my armpits. Like you could just see like the fat. It's just not cute. I really like the bottoms though. The bottoms literally fit perfectly. The bottoms look so freaking long and I was actually really concerned that it'd be really long when I first got it but they fit wonderfully like they literally make your stomach look pretty flat because they're high-waisted. They're just a perfect fit because they're not like too high-waisted and I also like how the print makes me look pretty tan. I would rate this bathing suit a 7.5. I feel like the only real con is like the armpit fat. <laughs> this next set is such a cute color. It's like a baby blue. It's from Zaffle and the thing that annoys me about Zaffle is that the other like polka dot zaffle bikini I got was way too small for me but this one fits like perfectly and it's also a size small so the sizing is really inconsistent so you need to check the size chart which I should have done. This is such a flattering set like the bottoms are literally perfect but sadly the pads are visible in this bathing suit like I feel like all these bathing suits are like pretty good but they just have like one thing that like really bothers me about them. The pads are so visible like you guys will see on the try on and it just makes a swimsuit look cheap when you can see the pads. I would give these a 7 out of 10. This next set is like this nudish colored set. It's from like Shikini. They're like a pretty popular brand on Amazon for swimsuits. I was incredibly disappointed with this bathing suit. This is definitely the worst of them all. If I could give any of these bathing suits a negative rating, it would be this one. It is so scratchy. Right when I put it on, I was literally getting scratched by the fabric and the bottoms are super stiff. Like there's just no give in them. So it's just very unflattering. Kind of gives you a muffin top, if you know what I mean. And the top also fits kind of weird. Like it goes like in, which is not the look. Okay, I actually really like this next set. It's like the underwire style, which I've never had a bathing suit like this. I think it's super cute and creative. And the bottoms are like the V cut, which is super flattering just for your waist. It's not super flattering if you're like me and kind of have smaller boobs, but like, I think it's totally fine. I'm not very insecure about boobs. I'm fine with it not being super flattering there because I got no one to impress. I would give this bathing suit a nine out of 10. I think you definitely get your money's worth and it seems like it'll definitely like hold up. Before we get on to the next bikini I want to let you guys know that I started a vlog channel it's in the description box below so check it out and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and turn on the notification bell I have kind of mixed feelings about this red set it's like a red wrap top and it's super flattering if you want cleavage but I over here a 14 year old girl I'm not really trying to go for that cleavage look <laughs> I'll definitely be returning this because I would never really wear it but if you're looking for that look it definitely gives you that the bottoms are pretty average and subpar like these aren't bad bottoms but they're not like good bottoms that I would like go for either. They're just very average. And I guess you get what you pay for so it makes sense, but I would rate this bathing suit like a five out of 10 just because the bottoms just weren't anything special and it's just not something I would reach for. This next bathing suit is so cute. It's like a sailor blue color. It's definitely cuter in your hands than it is on, but I love the white border of the top and bottom. Unfortunately, the bottoms fit really small on me and I didn't like how the triangles were so close together. I like when you can actually like push the triangles in or push them out and you have that like option of how tight you want it it just wasn't very flattering in the tummy area i can do better this one's kind of a tough one 
This next set is a triangle set, but this one is so much better. It has like the adjustable top where you can like pull it in or out. And I love the color of this bathing suit. It's a very like interesting blue. The bottoms are a little bit low for my liking, but they have like these ties. So I bet you can adjust how tall you want it. I really like this one. I think it's a lot better than the triangle one. So I rate this one an eight out of 10. Obviously the quality isn't amazing, but like you do get what you pay for. Okay, I just do not remember buying this set and the color is just kind of ugly like if i'm being completely honest i don't know what i was thinking i don't know if the color online looks different or i was just like delusional that day but it kind of has this like weird mermaid scrunching in the front like i feel like i'm shading it for the design even though i already knew what it was gonna look like but i guess i just didn't look at them closely enough like, i was very passionate about this video and on amazon there weren't many cute bathing suits so i just picked out like the best ones i could find and like quickly bought them because i wanted to make this video asap my biggest complaint about these is that the high-rise bottoms are so high that they look like granny panties like i don't like when the space from the top and the bottom are like really short like I just think that these were way too high rise the last swimsuit I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually a full piece I'm actually really into full pieces unfortunately I couldn't go to summer camp this year but whenever I go you have to wear full pieces because it's like a Christian camp so I love having some really cute full pieces that I like and I feel like people's perception of full pieces have like grown a lot like people used to think they were kind of lame and I feel like it's really trending now I remember when I was younger I always tried to avoid full pieces because I thought they were lame but they are so flat Flattering. like this one is so flattering and you can never go wrong with like a dark full piece like this navy color you could eat like a whole chicken and you would be fine because of the color and i feel like the zipper on it actually adds a lot i do wish there was padding though like a lot in the try on i could like see my nipples going through it and like i tried to not show that in the try on and it's kind of tough to add padding on like a full piece because there's no like place you would put the padding in so i'd have to like cut my own hole and then put padding in it the bathing suit was also a bit scratchy but it wasn't like a big issue so i would rate this bathing suit a 6.5 out of 10 just because like not having padding it's kind of a deal breaker because I don't want to be at the pool and then just like be worrying about nips that's just too much of a distraction for me because then you're just like walking around like this oh my gosh so those are all the swimsuits I hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and remember to treat your body well everybody is a bikini body and I'll see you guys in the next one